Hey guys, it's Dave here from Trigger RC. How's everybody doing? Um, I'd like to introduce to you uh, Corey, also from Trigger RC. Hi, I'm Corey. Yes, I'm Trigger all. RC. No, you don't have to do a voice. Oh, but I thought. Uh... <laughs> all right. So <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna do this one. No, okay, we're not doing voices. So um, today, I, uh, I uh, we're over at Corey's place. This is his workshop here. This is my workshop. <laughs> He's trying to. <laughs> this is my right. a nice workshop, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> the worst video ever, and it's our first one. Um, you can see in the background there, barely, uh, that's the summit that you're used to seeing in some of the videos. And here is Corey's uh, brand new Stampede. Uh, brand new, but not unscathed. Not unscathed. We should say. So, um, a little bit later, we're going to show you guys how to add a little bit of motor maintenance. And uh, now, Corey is going to uh, have a, he's got a story for you. Well, this is my Traxxas, uh, my first RC. It's a, it's the Traxxas Stampede XL5. Um, I have less than 10 minutes of runtime on it. And that's right, I did blow a tire, <laughs> so to speak. Um, I believe there might have been a defective part involved here, but uh, this is what they call a kingpin. Okay, and it what it does is it connects your steering block, which is this piece here. Uh, your steering block is connected to the servo. <laughs> servo is connected to the chair. Okay, so anyway, this is your steering block, and it connects to the what is this called? The caster block. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that, that's what the wheel, the wheel is going to pivot on that as it steers, as the ser servo delivers power to the to the wheel. Okay, so this goes up in between in the middle. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but this is actually supposed to be a straight pin. Uh, it's 31 and a half millimeters long, and it goes right up through this hole here, through your steering block, and out the other end here, and keeps that on a pivot. Uh, this is bent like this, which I understand from much internet searching and much question asking that this is sort of not possible from the eight minutes of circling my driveway that I was doing. Um, so I believe this was probably defective if it was maybe bent a little bit and I maybe worsened it or if it was just all out bad from the start. Anyway, garbage. So what we did was Dave and I took a trip down to Eliminator and bought ourselves some replacement parts and this model has a thread, a threading at the top, uh, can you see that? And that will allow it to thread directly into the plastic instead of with this one we were using these little e-clips that are super easy to lose and they hurt your fingers and they just make you mad and you know I, I just don't ever want to deal with them again so these threads are a brilliant idea. So anyway, the point of this little clip here is to show you how to replace one of these pins should you require the same uh, medical support. And uh, I'm going to do it here right now. So I think it will just slide that up in there. Throw my steering block in between. Find the hole. That's what she said. And there we go. Down the hole. Now I'll just take my uh, or Dave's two millimeter. Let's see if you can watch me do this here. It's just your uh, regular Allen key wrench. Dave's got a nice fancy one with a handle and everything. It's a fine thread, so you have to turn many times, but that's a good sign. It's going to be in there solid. Alright, make sure we get a nice tight connection there. And there we have it. Beauty. Alright, so that's how quick that fix is. Uh, it was so literally the time consuming part there was the trip to the store and back. So that was pretty easy. So there's a lot of people who are worried about getting into this hobby because they say that, you know, like, I don't even know which side of my car the gas goes into. Like, I am not a mechanical kind of person. So I'm not even going to try to get into something like this type of hobby. And if that's you, take the bus. Because gas is necessary. Uh, yeah, that might have been an extreme <laughs> example. That might have been an, an over-exaggerated example. But perhaps I'm the type that uh, can't change my own oil. Yeah. Because I'm afraid to. So, uh, what kind of advice would you give them? You're not necessarily the most mechanical. Um, as I said earlier, this is my first RC. I know I 
dove in knowing absolutely nothing. I'm learning as we go. Uh, that's going to be the beauty of our little show here is that we're literally going to be learning along with you guys and hoping for the advice from you guys as well based on our complete lack of knowledge. Fantastic. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing and that was pretty easy. I'm, I'm going to learn every part of this truck. I'm positive as things break down. That's the fun of this hobby is literally just having to learn it so that I can go outside and drive it. Cool. So I think what we'll do is, because uh, that's our goal, we want to drive tonight. So yeah, let's, and we're uh, going to. let's get your tires back on and then maybe should we clean the motor out? Let's do that first. Okay. I just broke in my motor. Um, Dave's motor is absolutely filthy. It's um, not just broken in, it is broken. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you haven't seen it, you should watch the uh, latest video with Dave's Traxxas where he buries it in the water oh, yes. and mud in a and swamp. sleet and swamp. And then I had to go get it. And then there was like a frog driving it and it was just a mess. Slime, no. goop, dirt and grind. Most of that. <laughs> uh, anyway, half of that's inside his motor. So we're going to spray that out uh, when we come back and show you guys how to do that. <laughs> 